With Kendra's Law alone, $32 million a year at least uh, in trapping people in services that they do not want. And the, the data are this, that it reduces net cost of the system uh, and, uh, redu and it improves public safety. So there is zero chance in the political landscape that that's going to change. Slavery is also being conducted with state-sponsored funding. Study after study, uh, it could be 60% of people who say that they would like to work. I mean, every person whom we help or support who wants a job to get a job. That's, uh, why is that kind of possible now? Actually, it's not that it's possible now. What I'm about to say sounds pretty cruel, but in a way it is. What's possible now is for us to actually get paid for doing that. In the process of forcing somebody into a program, um, creating a job for a mental health professional, preventing a person from being able to go get their own job, uh, is a form of slavery. It was always possible for us to pay attention to work. How we achieve a system in which 85% of the people we take care of are unemployed, double the rate of unemployment, among people with serious mental illness who don't get care from us. You know, <coughs> that's a different question, but now we can get, now we can get paid for it. Now, uh, it is a form of slavery. The right time to do this uh, now because the tools are really available and we can even get, you know, get paid for, uh, for doing that.